right, let's move on to ASCO. We've got Group 1, group one Action this weekend. Uh, the King George. Shane, give us a clue about the betting you're assuming Cracksman. Yes, so we have the dead out uh, at the moment. Tom Poltz were 9-4. Uh, Crystal Ocean 9-4, 5-2. But Cracksman, Cornet 11-1, 12-1. Hadrangia, Ross Rapovich 20. Salio and Double Carpet 33. Desert Encounter 50. First of all, do you think Cracksman are on here? No, I'm going to work off the assumption that Cracksman won't run. I'm going to I say, would be that I'm going to say they're going to miss the showers. Although I saw Newmarket got 10 mils, driest place in England, as, as we know. <laughs> we, know. Uh, we love that one. Yeah, but I, I, I assume that Ascot, <coughs> or I'm just going to presume, just for the sake of punditry, I mean, technically, that 5-2 to two is a wrong price. If you back Cracksman of five to two now and he runs, he will go off favourite. So that is there's technically. Will he? What do you think he'll go off if he runs? I think he'll go off about thirteen seven, to eight, seven, seven to four. Yeah. Absolutely no chance. Well, no. The recency wise, will only carry you to, to, to so far, Johnny. The last run he was two to five, and the other horse was eleven to two. And How he, in the name of God? Because he's run two pretty abject races. Put season. a line for that run last time out, and he's an odds on shot. Put, here, how sure. do you put a line through two runs? Do you know what I mean? You still won the race the, the time before. I mean, yeah, terrible form. Four, but would be anywhere near good enough to win this. Comfortably okay, held by who wins then? What's good enough to win? Well, in my view, Chris Lotion should 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 be favourite. Now, reading Stouty, he's like, I like the fact that the two of them are running. Different owners, why yeah. not? Um, Renham the Ledger last year probably didn't get the mile and six, which is fine. But I think the mile and a half will. I think this he might just have a little bit more stamina than his stable mate. I can't have Cracksman on my mind at the <coughs> moment. Now, depending on the price, he was 10 to 1 earlier in the week. Yeah. So you're taking, I remember actually we were on mm. about this, you're taking a punt on him. To me, his mind isn't on the job. Um, well, he basically, John Gosling said that. Yeah, like yeah. he said it at, at Royal Ascot. Um, it, was, it was a bit, he was behaving at Royal Ascot like the girl at the counter was with Juki in the basket. Like, <laughs> mine was on not the actual day <laughs> job, mine was yeah. on love and all that stuff. But to me, he's just looking like a horse that isn't, isn't putting it in. And. Uh, even if they got the deluge, did you see bats are in the week, right? Bat, yeah. Bats look like the Sahara because they don't water in bats. So how much rain does it need to actually become proper, like even good to soft? Yeah, it's, it's not, not going to happen. Get anywhere not going to happen. Nowhere close so to I don't that. think he's going to sit on top and be evaporated anyway. So Crystal Ocean is, is rock, rock solid. Um, now, I, 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 I've Kew Gardens back for the ledger, so I actually was delighted he didn't rock up here yeah. because I... I I couldn't see this helping. Was, if he won this race, he's probably too good to nearly run the ledger. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that things go back to the ledger for him, but uh, I'm with Chris Lotion. Who are you with, Juki? Just about favour Poets Word. I can totally see the case for Crystal Ocean putting up a career best, but Poets Word did put 10 lengths into Cliff Samoa the last day. He's won two solid races since. That is very strong form. So I just about favour Poets Word, but very marginal. Shane, who would you pop up here? Yeah, Cracksman for me, Tom, might look a silly price come, come uh, tomorrow afternoon, albeit if... if, like, if he does run, granted he does run, and the rain does come in time. If it doesn't, I'd have a, a slight concern. But don't forget, I mean, he beat Paul Swar by seven lengths last October at the track as well. Now, he has to turn around. If, yeah, true. Uh, but, I mean, if he... You talk about, you know, I mentioned to you yesterday about potential headgear. I don't think they're going to put on headgear, mm. um, which is a bit of a negative as well. But if he does somehow recapture that form at, that he showed before Ascot last time out... There's only it, one thing that will get his mind in the job, and unfortunately, it'll make him worthless for the rest of his life. Wow. But yeah, so they're not going yeah, to do that. Like uh, us all. But, he, but he might look a silly price if he does run and we get a bit of rain. But. Right, open